players if you can deal with all the DI mix-ups and keep yourself safe in neutral. Mm -hmm. Whether or not Abra will be able to do that, we're about to find out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you have to play similarly to Crag that you do for Malo. Yeah. Like you stay at that spot where they they can't pull bomb comfortably, but like not far enough, or like not too close that that you just get down tilted five times. You know. Yeah, no, that is exactly right. Um, you know, this, funnily enough, the two bug characters are extremely similar in a lot of ways. Uh, oh boy. Oh. And. It's kind of funny too, because I feel like, especially in this game, a lot of the times it's like the heavies that are really like high risk, high reward type characters. Mm -hmm. But Malo is kind of like the high risk reward question mark version of Krag. I don't know. I, I have, I'm a bit of a Malo hater. Not that I hate fighting him, <laughs> but I just, I don't believe in him. <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah, this is not a real character. Right. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, I think with bombs, there's a lot more you can do with bombs than what you can do with rock, in theory. Mm -hmm. But pulling a bad bomb is a lot worse than pulling a bad rock. And that's really exasperated by Malo being a midway. Yeah. Like, the, the worst thing that happens to Craig if they, like, pull a bad rock is, like, it gets parried and they take, like, 10% or something. Well, they the, might die off of it, maybe. There's, like, but, two like, characters that can infinite you, maybe three, for holding rock. Every yeah. character can kill you for pulling a bad bomb. Um, it's... Oh, what the hell was that? I... God, this game sucks. Malo is one of them, for sure. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Ooh, that F-Tilt... I don't want to say it almost killed, but it sent Abra really far. Um... The other thing is that Ab uh, Malo has the same weak as Claren, which are pretty much average across the board, but he's got mm -hmm. low air drift, so... Ooh. You drift out of... Up tilt into the finisher. Yeah. Definitely makes Malo weird, because he dies off the side a little earlier than other midweights, but he can also DI out of Congress a little better. Mm-hmm. Which, I don't even know if that really helps the character that much, considering... Even if you drift out, you might just get hit by Iron Bomb anyway if you're holding one. I don't know. Yeah. This character's funny. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, yeah, I think there could have been more than just a down strong there from Stai. Um, I know a lot of characters like using uh, spikes as combo starters off of a parry. Uh, in Force's case, you do like, you know, reverse bear or reverse dare. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if potentially a kill could have been gotten off of that, but manages to find a bear later in the game that's gonna kill because it's forest bear that move happens to be very good at killing true hmm what are we thinking about the tree top pick i feel like it gives malo a lot of space to like control with bombs and stuff mm. but i feel like it's a lot harder to like pull bombs safely because of how little space there is right Double-edged sword, I guess. If Abra is like on top of his game, it could be like a really dominant victory. Yeah, I know Abra. I feel like I see him pick the stage a lot. I have never asked him why. Um, I have no idea why he does it. I kind of should, because this doesn't feel like it would be a good Malo stage, and I know it's a very good forest stage. Um, but he does go here very often, so I'm sure he knows what he's doing, because. Uh, Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't doubt his, like, like, like technical and game knowledge, because of just how crazy his bomb setups are. Yeah. Wow. Finisher could have been a problem. Got it. Oh god. Oh! Oh! I was terrified when he grabbed that finisher, dude. That could have been really bad, but, uh... I was shivering in my boots. Yeah. There it is, the simply clean back air coming out from Stai can take the first stock. That being said, good amount of damage being racked up on Stai. High ceiling is going to let him live a little longer, but Malo up strong is very much a good kill move, so... When it, when it works. Yeah, when it works. Whoa! 
What? What the hell? The bottom of what's going on. There's like five different things on the screen. I know. I really like Abra's use of fair. So just like kind of like reset the advantage state. Like while they're stuck in the hit stone of fair, he kind of like repositions and like mm -hmm. like all right, where are they gonna go now? Yeah. You know? Will they commit to a jump? Will they will they drift out? Uh it almost scooped into it. Yeah, just barely not enough. But good old down strong gonna do the trick there and Stai managing to make their lead even bigger here. Not the finisher bomb on the clone, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He hates that clone. Oh my god. Ooh. We're kind of ending up in a. Oh god. Ooh. It hits under the platform. Yeah, I this think this. Pretty... What are you gonna say? Go on. No, go on. Go on. I was gonna say this is just like a nonsense matchup. I've decided. Yeah, this is kind of Mickey Mouse. It, yeah, very. <laughs> um, Abra at 99% right now. Which, you know, high ceiling, I mean, could survive a little longer if Sai isn't able to find a back air, but. On the other hand, one finisher bomb, and that's probably Jover. Uh, really anyone's game. Oh, there's the back air. Unless that happens. Yeah, unless <laughs> that happens. This thing about finisher bomb is like, I feel like you rarely see it galaxy because that move is just impossible to DI and everybody dies to it before it can galaxy them. Mm -hmm. It's such a jump scare. I know, it's evil, evil move. Um, that being said, kind of hard to land this. Abra not able to find it there, but does have one more chance here. And again, we're kind of seeing players tonight pick one stage and then pick the exact opposite afterwards because we're going to fire mm -hmm. capital for our next stage. So going from the shortest to the longest. Yeah. Maybe Abra like valued the, like, the space he had to pull bombs. Oh, mm -hmm. like he realized. Yeah, and honestly, like, I think this is a much better counter pick. Um, Cause like, Force isn't bad here, but Force has to play ridiculously defensive to get any value out of the stage. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think Malo can still like, use that space in a more offensive way in, in some regards. We'll see what happens. I feel like, uh, like a lot of evaluations, like made in general, about like, kind of like, lowish and mid-level stuff, is like kind of hard because like oh yeah this stage is optimal for this character if they camp or like if their advantage state is really good and like at the level these players are playing at not to like disrespect them or anything it might no, not right. actually be that good of a stage i think it really depends but fire capital is one of the ones like i think fire capital and this are probably two of the more prominent examples of that because mm -hmm. they're just so polarized in what they do oh boy that was a really good juggle by the way like true I always feel bad when I have to commentate Abra, because I like watching him play. And I think Maul is a really cool character, but I don't know what to say about him. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just complete nonsense a lot of the time. And, uh... Hey, sis, that's me with every map. I'm confused. You know what? I get it. It's totally valid. Ooh. I just feel like the bomb is going sideways, because why not? <laughs> that Chinese F song to playing side on these bombs in the same direction. Not quite working out. Ooh, I'm surprised that bomb didn't actually hit Abra. Ooh. Oh wow, but actually juggling the bomb. That's yeah, really just silly. playing hot potato with it. Oh god. Things are, uh... uh now we're seeing Abra trying to look for those, um, the flare gun kills. Great parry from Sty. But it's actually sh struggling to get in a little bit right now. Ooh. Yeah, I think, um... 
I think Sty is getting in on Abra a little bit too late a lot of the time. Just like slightly too slow on a siding window approach. Oh, down tilt into finisher bomb, true combo. That's actually vile. Please send this man directly to prison. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, we're seeing it. Good awareness there. That double dunk probably wouldn't have hit and probably would have gotten him killed. But I like the attempt because double dunks really are like one of the main ways that Malo can get kills. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I, I can always respect a player who knows they're like, they're a little lost in the sauce. You put too much dip on the chip and they, they back out before they do anything too crazy. Yeah, especially, I that. especially like in a, in a set like this where you're down 2 0. I mean, you do need to take, you need to, to, to make big plays like that, but none mm -hmm. of those plays are going to be too risky. That, uh, oh my god! Oh. What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. well, I guess they will one. I don't know. Well. It's 2-1. Alright, man. Sure. Sure, yeah. Uh, Abra hit them with the move, I guess. Yeah. You know. Well, we got a DSR pick here, because we're going right back to Swampy Estuary, the Game 1 game. And it's not a pretty good Game 1 from what I remember, so... I know game two was pretty comfort uh, comfortably in their favor, but We're seeing some back airs. Oh god. And yeah, Abra kind of coming out with a lot of damage right now, but Sai looking to even that up as soon as possible. Early, early, early kill from Sty. Real like Abra not committing immediately to the down air, just like jumping, waiting to see what Sty would do after. Well, like I said, not like immediately committing to something that might get them hit. Yeah, and I mean, sometimes just looking for resets in those kinds of situations can be good as well, can potentially open you up for a much bigger punish. Mm hmm This guy kind of, again, struggling to comp uh, comfortably get in on Abra. And... Ooh. Uh, only getting the one dare for that. Almost fighting that kill, but not quite close enough to the side blast in. Slash up air. I don't know what Sty had gone for, oh. but. And, uh. <laughs> they both have, like, the same sound when I think it's, like, back air and up tilt with. I like was losing track of who was actually throwing out moots for a second. <laughs> um, oh god, crazy! It was established like a pretty dominant lead. Yeah. Ooh, that is gonna be a down strong. That being said, I mean ninety-seven percent extra credit on Sty's last stock. This not quite Stye. as dominant. Sty, 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 get out of there, Sty. No. That's so tragic. Uh, I hate. Okay, and why did that have to be the end of that game? So basically, Sty's controller started breaking, and then like really broke for game five. So unfortunately, they had to DQ out. Oh uh, yeah. Um, that set was going crazy. I'd love to see a proper game five, but unfortunately, sure. none of that here. It really looked like an alt platform. They just really couldn't get off of it. I know. It was oh really God. sad. Uh, I hate to see it.